The George Horst collection of fine art is particularly interesting, I think, because it is both European and American. And it really shows the collecting sensibilities of the period in which he was buying, between 1911 and 1929. Here we have a particularly fine example by the artist Emil Carlson. It's a still life, which was typical for him. Many regarded him as the finest still life painter working in the United States in the early 20th century. He came from Denmark in the 1870s when he was still a young man in his early 20s. And as we can see with this painting, it's signed lower left, Emil Carlson, and dated 1928. And George Horst bought this painting the following year in 1929 from the National Academy of Design. One of the distinguishing features of this painting, apart from its gargantuan size, it was very atypical in that regard for Carlson, is the magnificent frame, which was designed by Herman Dudley Murphy, who is also a still life painter who worked out of Boston, but also was well regarded as a frame designer. And the frame makers were Carrig Rohane. So this is a very fine frame as well for a very fine painting. This work by Emil Carlson is one of the highlights of the George Horst collection of fine art to be offered. And it's interesting because it combines both aspects of the collection, an artist from Europe who made his name in America. The collection is truly a testimony to George Horst's discerning eye for art, and Freeman's is very honored to be offering it at auction.